Kids! Sorry. <laughs> like, I'm so used to Dave being here and we just shout down the barrel. Yo dudes, uh, welcome to one of the nicest dips you will ever eat. This is Bettina, Bettina's Kitchen. She's a great chef from London and today we're gonna make her fantastic recipe from her book. So what's in this? Epic dip. Bettina. What's in the epic dip? Uh, it's got leeks and tahini that's going to make it really creamy. It's got some dates for some sweetness. It's got some sumac for that lemony flavour. And it's a nice Middle Eastern twang. Absolutely. Sumac, lemon, tahini, garlic, boom. Yeah. Had me sold already. First step. First step is uh, let's chop the leeks. So I've just, we've just uh, halved those horizontally and we. I love the way you say halved. 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 It sounds so classy. Sorry. <laughs> And we've washed uh, we've washed the leeks out because they are quite sandy, and we're going to chop them all up, um, and we're going to fry them off until we get that natural, lovely sweetness from leeks. And often, people cut off that top bit, but we're going to use all of the leek, no waste. So in a hot pan, and we're basically just going to cook these off until we get that natural sweetness out of them. And you'll see, like, because the volume of them, we're almost we're frying, but we're also steaming. Yeah. Which I think steam, like, allows leak release of succulents. Yeah, absolutely. Because otherwise, if you fry it too much, you can char and be crispy, whereas we want that juiciness for the dip. Right? Yeah, so it's almost going to cook in its own juices and cook down nicely, but still keep a little bit of volume. Now, while these are cooking down, we are going to prepare the herb oil that's going to go on our crostinis. Mm. So... Um, we that need cool. <laughs> herb oil and a crostini. Herb oil. Sounds posh. Very, very, very fancy. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> um, so, so we've we got some parsley, parsley there. Yeah. Um, we can use, yeah, exactly. We can use the blender. Add your parsley in there. And yeah, enough to get it going. I like Maybe that. a pinch of salt. I like the intuitiveness. <laughs> Just squeeze in a bit of oil until you're happy. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Give that a whiz. Okay, so the oil is super green and zingy, and just if I do taste it here, like it's a great bang of flavor. Lovely kind of note of salt there. Nice kind of <laughs> garlic, like it's, that's gonna really <laughs> add a pop to this dish. Absolutely, so we've done that part. We are going to add a little bit of chopped dates into our leeks. Ooh, so this, oh, is, this where is exciting. the sweetness comes in. This is Which interesting. Is Normally with the dates, this mm, is so I like this. Wow, it'll be interesting yeah. to see what you think. Yeah, genuinely, <laughs> for real. I'm like, oh wow, dates and meat, this is cool. And straight in? Yeah, straight in. Wow, she's so, Bettina, this is exciting. <laughs> the heat will soften them up. There we go. We've got some sumac, which yeah. is a Middle Eastern spice. So if Good you've not go. got any sumac, you can also use a little bit of um, paprika powder. Yeah, and even a bit of lemon zest. I always find sumac. Yeah, lovely and citrusy. It's really nice and citrusy. There we go. So while we're going to give this a few more minutes, and while this is cooking, we are going to chop up some of your lovely bread. Nice. There we go. We've got some baguette, and we've have got you this. The crostinis. Nice. Yes. So. Even the idea of a crostina sounds so like warming and crispy and, yeah. and it's like, oh, it's exciting. And you know when you're entertaining, so you, this can be made ahead. And you know when you're entertaining, you want to be with your guests. You can make this ahead, you can make the dip ahead. You make it sound so well entertaining and with your guests. Yes! Like, oh, cool. Can I come? This sounds really cool. Because <laughs> okay, often you're stuck in the kitchen. So just a dab a little bit on each piece of bread. You don't Perfect. necessarily have to use a pastry brush, but... No, you can use a spoon, but that looks great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So we preheated the oven to 180 degrees. We're gonna bake them until they're crispy. So three, four minutes, might be five if you like it really crispy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That goes in. Fantastic, this looks ready now. Wow, it looks cool. So if we've, got, if we've got a blender or a food processor. So we're going to add this into our food processor. Okay. It smells really nice. That goes in. So we've got some lemon. 
So I'm going to add One. extra. Oh yeah, there we go. One or two. Uh, gosh, probably just one. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to add some tahini, and that's going to oh. make it really nice and creamy. And that's it. Wow, I like this. This is exciting. <laughs> So because it's, the leeks are really fibrous, like it has this wonderful, like mm. really, like, like it looks super interesting. Like it's like, I want to just dive into it and like it's <laughs> a lovely kind of nutty, sweety kind of note off it. Aim for the middle. Oh, the yeah. This is literally one of my favorite things. It looks cool. So I can create a little crater. Right there. Mm. Olive oil. Yeah, yeah, lovely. A little bit of extra olive oil. Mm -hmm. Got some lovely pine nuts. Oh, the crostini look great. I was uh, afraid when we baked it we were going to lose the greenness, but it looks great, so just... Yeah, so it's kind of nice if you... and you make your way oh, out, I like, outwards Oh, I like inwards. that. Oh, I like the detail. Yes. Okay, this presents really beautiful. I'm highly impressed and I'm excited to try it. Yes. Are we ready? Yeah, ready. I love the way you leave the top dun, up dun, dun. me. Well, you know what I do. <laughs> we did put a bit of pink peppercorn, sorry, just to make it look more festive. You can put pomegranates on as well, mm. which would be really nice. I love leeks. Like there's a real <laughs> sweetness. There's that kind of, like the slight allium note, like the crispiness of the bag. Like, I, I get why people would love it. Like it's super elegant, it's delicious, it's gorgeous, it's creamy, and it's easy to make. Yeah, easy to make and delicious. Boom. There you are, an incredibly beautiful dip. Highly recommend trying it. Do check out Bettina's book and Bettina's Kitchen on Instagram and all things social. She is fabulous. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of this channel. And we send lots of love and thank you to Bettina. Thank you so much for having me. Woo! <laughs>